Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the online features of TiboCam. If you have the online features enabled, you will have an online tab. Click on this tab. The first thing we're going to need to do is fill out your user and password information. You'll be informed of this. In this case, I'm just entering the word test and my password. The instance name you can leave as main for the moment. This is a feature that will come into future products of TiboCam. The poll. Now the poll is how frequently TiboCam will look online for new instructions. So at the moment we have it set as 30 seconds. The minimum you can have it set to is 30. This means that every 30 seconds TiboCam will look online to see if there are any new instructions and I'm just going to click on the copy FTP settings and I'm also going to set the name of the file which I want to be published when I request an image. We also want to click on the checkbox to enable the um, online features. Now let's look at the web browser front end. To begin with we can see the user who you're logged on as. Here we are logged on as test. Next we have when TiboCam last looked to see whether there's an instruction. And we have underneath that when TiboCam last updated the online database. Underneath we can see that when we last pressed the update button the settings were updated successfully. This is the main part of TiboCam. It's our command window where we enter our commands. Then we have the file name where we're publishing from TiboCam when we want an image. And beneath that the log. And we have the image which we've published from TiboCam right at the bottom. There are various options and commands that we can issue to TiboCam. Some of these options include log, image, activate on, inactivate and off. We can use activate and on to activate um, image uh, recognition, movement recognition, or inactivate or off to turn off movement detection. Once we're happy with the command we've issued, we click on the update button. And then we may need to refresh our screen after half a minute to see the command or the image coming through. When we're finished, we can just click on log off and we will leave the browser session.